this is the quiz show and on to our next challenge which is guess the logo we are going to portray a logo here for you and this time round you get a chance of responding to two of the logos that will be here we still have an opportunity of snatching if they don't give us an answer just look at the logo and just tell me which brand does it represent okay all right the first one you're going to guess is this one Yes. That's Chrome. Chrome, correct. Okay. That is Chrome. That is 100 additional points for you. You are now at 1,700 points. The next logo for you to give us a quick guess on is this one. That's Wikipedia. Wikipedia, correct. You are at 1,800 points. Hey, group, my name is Quiz Master. Hey, hey. Okay. Decimators. You shall not be decimated by this one. I believe so. Okay. The logo that you're going to guess first one is this one. This one is easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Talk to me. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Five. Four, three, yes, two, one. <laughs> Time is up for you. Time is up. Can you guys hey, start this one? Yes. yes. All right. What is your guess? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Get the Ghostbusters. All right. Okay. Yeah. An additional 100 points. Let's see if you can snatch one point. Decimeters, you can still do this. You can do this. Aki decimeters, eh? Yeah. Decimeters, ah. <laughs> Okay, next logo is this one. Easy peasy. Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry Potter, finally a hundred <laughs> points for the test. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. 1,100 points for... <laughs> for the decimators and 1,900 if I'm not wrong. For our leaders so far, the quiz masters, we are still having a game on. Our next challenge is guess the prize. This is the quiz show and we are now on to our next challenge which is guess the prize. Our contestants only have to give us a range that they are going to be able to guess what is correctly uh, priced as our retail prices in our supermarkets. Remember, we have taken time to go through all our supermarkets and the items you are having. We have the exact range as per the retail price of the products in our supermarkets. You know? Yes. So you will have a range of plus something or minus something. And, and, and the, the ranges uh, vary because the products are also varying in terms of price for supermarket. Yeah. Come on, when you're shopping in Mboga, in Mboga, get to the Huh? One day, 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 you are going to have your first item here and you're going to give us the guess of the price. That is a Makuti room. Fagie ni swali kiendanga. Makuti room. Fagie kienda. How much? 50 to 100. Give us one price. Take the price. 80. 80! Correct! That's Linda. Correct! 100 additional points. We are moving on to team 2. Quickly, guess this, the price of this product, which is an industrial leather glove. Keyword is leather. 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 Skuja up on a material canvas. Alright, ready? What's the price? 400. 400! Mm. Close, but incorrect. You guys have an opportunity of snatching 100 points. Can you give us a correct guess? It is not 400 Kenya shillings. What's the price? Can you take a guess? Time is ticking. 500. 500? No! The 
correct price is 695 Kenya shillings and of course the range is between 680 to 700 Kenya shillings here on Mumenoa we are moving on oh we began with you guys all right you're moving on to the final round of this uh, challenge guess for us this product cheddar cheese 200 grams keyword key 200 grams cheddar cheese cheddar cheese you have a price for me yes linda say 550 say 550 incorrect okay incorrect can you guys snatch 100 points let's find out you said how many grams 200 grams we'll go with 300 you will go with 300 okay i will go with 460 because both teams are incorrect the range is between 450 to 470. I can't blame you. Ata mimi cheese. Tunay somo gato ko guitar. All right, 450 and 470. Na sa 500, 550. So I go out of there. Now the final round is for you guys. This one you must get. You must get this one. Okay? Ken salt, one kg. One kg chumbi. You know the mukula chumbi. Yes, 40 ball. 40 ball! Incorrect. Incorrect. You guys, snatch 100 points. Decimeters. Chafuwe ni kitu. 50. 50! Incorrect! The correct answer is 32 Kenya shillings. Any answer between 30 to 35 Kenya shillings would have been correct. We have decimators at 1,100 points so far, and our leaders still at 1,900. All right, this game is still on. We are coming on to our final challenge of this episode, and that is back to school. My all time favorite. Ah, what's that one? <laughs> this is the quiz show and we are on to our next challenge which is the back to school challenge we're trying to test our contestants on how much they can remember of what they learned in school in kitumboga sana watu wapa kama weni mutu meka na encyclopedia ukasoma uko sawa maswali hapa ni mboga kuruka but of course i must begin by correcting the first score that i gave uh, towards the end of the last challenge the score for the decimeters is not 1,100, it is 1,200. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, remember we have four subjects we are picking from. The first one is compulsory for both teams, which is Kiswahili. Higher, sorry, la kwanza. Kiungo kijulikanacho kama kadamon, kwa kizungu ni nini kwa Kiswahili? Pass. Pass, higher. Kinyume chaneno shibe. Nini? Nja. Sahihi. Umoja ni sonara. Wingi ni nini? Sana. Sana. <laughs> Hai, umenoa. Okay. <laughs> Trakimu moja juu ya 13. Yaitwaje? Pass. Pass. Hai. Malipo ya mtu baada ya kumkosea mwingine au kumtia gharama hasara au hasara yaitwaje? Fidia. Fidia, sahihi. Anayefanya kazi ya kuunda au kurekebisha injini au mashine mbalimbali aitwaje? Mekanika. Mekanika. Umenoa. Hey, mekanika. All right. <laughs> Kiungo kitulikanacho kama kadamon kwa kizungu kwa Kiswahili kinaitwa iliki. 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 Uh -huh. okay. Kinyume cha neno shibe ninja ulipata sawa hilo. Umoja ni sonara, wingi ni masonara. <laughs> Trakimu moja juu ya 13 ni telata shara. Telata shara. Malipo ya mtu baada ya kumkosea mwingine umepata sawa ni fidia. 
kisha tukuliuliza ya swali la mwisho anaifanya kazi ya kuunda au kurekebisha injini au mashine sio mekanika il hali ni mhandisi 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 <laughs> umepata maswali mawili sawa nafikiri mmejiongezea alama a 200 kama sijakosea sasa mko na alama 1200 au sio hey. nafuka sakafu kwa mwendo wa aste aste, aste kwa timu yetu ya disvetas Waswahili walisema ukiona mwenzako anyolewa wewe kwanza unahitaji sana na wewe Kumbuka maswali ni sita dakika ambayo mko nayo ni uh, sekunde sitini nitaanza na wewe Linda nikielekea huu upande wa Jimmy Au sio mko tayari Ndio Swali mboga swali la kwanza kiungo ijulukanavyo kama gloves kwa kizungu ni nini kwa Kiswahili Karafu Karafu sahihi ah kinyume cha neno gulamu ni nini Pas umoja ni mbuzi wingi ni mbuzi mbuzi sahihi Tarakimu moja juu ya kumi na nane ni nini Pas haya pesa zaidi mtu anazopata kwa kuweka pesa kwenye benki au malipo zaidi mtu anayohitajika kulipa juu ya kiasi alichokuwa alichochukua kama mkopo Akiba Akiba la hasha anayefanya kazi ya kuosha vioo huitwaje chura Anayefanya kazi ya kuosha chodi chura Jimmy sawa sawa sita 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 sumbuana nawe tuliuliza kiungo ijulikanavyo kama gloves kwa kizungu kwa Kiswahili kinaitwaje ulisema karafu na hiyo ni sahihi kinyume cha neno gulamu ni banati <laughs> umoja ni mbuzi wingi ni mbuzi sahihi tarakimu moja juu ya kumi na nane ni demantashara <laughs> demantashara pesa zaidi mtu anazokopa kwa kuweka pesa kwenye bengi interest ndugu yangu interest kwa Kiswahili ni riba anayefanya kazi ya kuosha vioo sio chura bali topasi 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 mara ya kwanza katika quiz show mara ya kwanza Buda Boss anakosolewa anakosolewa hii ni historia inafanyika live kwenye Switch TV maana nilisema chura sio sawa lakini ndugu zangu ni topasi au chura ni sawa Hey, Lakini mwanaume kuvumilia kikosea. Itabidi uzoee. Inauma lakini. Inauma lakini tumeshikilia. Sawa, wamejipatia alama 300 zaidi na nafikiri sasa wako na alama elfu moja na na 500. Unasongea karibu sana na ndugu zangu mko na elfu mbili na mia moja kama sijakosea. Au sio? Haya sasa tumemalizana na kusafa na Kiswahili wacha tuingie. <laughs> okay, you have three subjects remaining to choose from either geography, mathematics or theory. Discuss amongst yourselves and agree which one you go with and after to one itakuwa gani. We have discussed and it's geography. Discuss which one? Geography. Geography. All right, six questions. 60 seconds. The time begins now. Anthony, Timbuktu is in which country? Mali. Correct. Over 90% of which African country's wildlife is found nowhere else on earth? Kenya. Incorrect. What is the body of water called where a river meets the sea or ocean? The mouth. Incorrect. Which desert is considered the largest on earth? Antarctic. Incorrect. In what country would you find the Aswan Dam? Egypt. Correct. What is the name used for Where is east west at longitude 0 and the dividing point between the eastern and western hemispheres? Greenwich Meridian. Correct. Greenwich Meridian. That is the end of our six questions. You've gotten three out of the six questions correct. Timbuktu is in Mali. Over 90% of which African countries wildlife is found nowhere else on earth. You say Kenya, the correct answer is Madagascar. Madagascar. All right. What is the body of water called where a river meets the sea? It is not the mouth. 
an estuary, okay? Which desert is considered the largest on earth? The correct answer is the Sahara Desert. In what country would you find the Aswan Dam? Your correct Egypt. What is the name used for where east meets, uh, meets west at longitude zero and the dividing point between the eastern and western hemispheres? The correct answer, which you actually got correct, is the Greenwich Meridian. You are now at 2,400 points, if I am correct. Okay? Question? Yes, question. Is the Antarctica a nice desert? Is it that correct? It's a nice well? desert. It's a nice desert. The question was, which desert is considered the largest on Earth? I believe it is larger than the Sahara. It's larger than what? the Antarctica. Yes. yes. Our answer is the Sahara Desert. Okay. Okay. But it's a Okay, concept. these guys are demanding for VAR. <laughs> yes. 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 Largest. VAR. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What are we in the case of one going to me? I can't be wrong twice. I can't be wrong twice. Because the ice desert. On yeah. the same yeah. show. No way. Okay. Spread on the chill. Yeah. Sahara is the right one, and we have confirmed from our second. Uh, Assistant, uh, uh, to meet the referee. Anyway, we're moving yeah. on swiftly yeah. to our team here. Decimators, you have two subjects remaining because they have already picked geography. You can't pick geography, it's either mathematics or CRT. Which one? Pick me. You take CRE. Okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, what's up with that? Not the answer. Okay, what are the answer, Jimmy? Starting with Jimmy. Okay, six questions, sixty seconds. Very easy. Who is the high priest of Jerusalem who put Jesus on trial? Pilate. 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 Incorrect. In the gospel according to John, which of the apostles doubts Jesus' Jesus says resurrection until he sees Jesus with his own eyes? Thomas. Thomas, correct! How does Judas signal Jesus' identity to the Roman officials? A kiss. A kiss, correct! Who wrote the Acts of the Apostles? Luke. Luke, correct! Hey! What was the name of the first Christian who was stoned to death? Stephen. Stephen, correct! Okay! What does Israel mean? Sorry? What does Israel mean? Chosen. Chosen! Incorrect! Okay! <laughs> okay! Wow. What does Israel mean? The correct answer is prevails with God. Prevails with God. What was the name of the first Christian who was thrown to death? You're correct. It is Stephen who wrote the book of Acts. Hey! I will combine Sarah Jimmy. It is Luke. <laughs> of course, Judas kisses Jesus to signal him to the Roman officials in the gospel according to John. Of course, we have Thomas as the doubting man there. And who is the high priest of Jerusalem who put Jesus on trial? The correct answer is Caiaphas. The decimators now stand at 1,900 points. We have our leaders, the quiz masters, standing at 2,500 points. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. these guys have taken it home. Oh, what a run, what a show. Stefano, <laughs> the look on your face. <laughs> what is it you're feeling? What are you going on? I mean, what's going on in your mind? 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 What was the most difficult part for you on this show? Uh, probably, I'll say the guess the meaning of the word. Guess the meaning, all right? That was pretty challenging. Okay. Uh, Shibilia, my Karibu? Yeah, yes. the, guess the meaning of the word. That was pretty, pretty challenging. Pretty, pretty challenging yeah. for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jimmy, mm. how was your experience? Okay. Back to school. Too. Back to school. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Difficult. Linda, how was your experience? Yeah, it was a good run. It was a good run. I had a lot of fun. All right. Anything yeah. you want to say to the winners? <laughs> congratulations. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> of course, our winners have an opportunity of joining me here. Please tell me, uh, these guys, we agreed that the team that is going to win are going to give us their victory dance. All right, I cannot see their victory dance. What is it? Show me what you guys got. Can I do Come on. Come on. Which one? Come on. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. All right. 
Whatever that is, they're going to be dancing and it's all with it. This is the quiz show. Remember to participate on this show. It's quite easy. All you need to do is just form a team of three guys. Write to us, quiz show at switchtv.ke and we will respond ASAP before we close it. What was your experience like being winners on this show? What is the one thing you've said is a learning curve for you on this show? Uh, first of all, we are uh, elated. We had a yes. lot of yes. fun. Yes. This was amazing. I yes. think um, there's uh, a few ch the challenging part was there are some things you think you know. No. They'd be easy. Yes. We yes. talk about entertainment and yes. geography yes. until the questions come up and like, oh. <laughs> yeah, we had moments where we felt a bit silly at times. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're just happy that we won. You're happy that you won. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. What was the experience? Sir? Yeah, it was fun. It was Quite fun. fun. Oh. I actually I was hoping we could have more around. <laughs> more around. I got addicted. We started slow. Yes. I was yes. doubting myself okay. as fast because it's things yes. that couldn't come. Yes. Uh, but eventually we You feel like you needed more the rounds. Groove. Yes. Ah, yes. Yes. Your confidence. Walimu. How's the experience, sir? It was a fantastic experience. Yes. I enjoyed every bit of it. Okay. Yeah, it Somebody who's asking yourself, what can you tell them? You know what, you should come and participate in the quiz show. Come and participate on the quiz show. Sure. And this guy wraps it up for me. Remember, every Wednesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. We are doing it right here. I'm your host, Buddha Boss. If you want us to continue this conversation, we can talk online at Freddy's Buddha Boss. It's a wrap. And we are done with the what? What was that again? Kawaii. 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 I don't know what you're doing. Kawaii. Are you sorry? Kawaii. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Awesome stuff. What? That's how we do it. What?